this video sums up my adventure in Zion on the month of uh, June and the month of September today. Let's go! Zion is located in the southern part of Utah. Set Zion National Park Visitor Center on the navigation app and off you go! The park has a shuttle system that takes you to the hiking trails. A shuttle arrives every 10 minutes or so. We'll take the shuttle from where we have parked the car and where the visitor center is located at stop number 1 on the map. We'll get off the shuttle on the grotto at stop number 6. This is where our hike to Angel's Landing starts. The trail starts with an easy walk along the Virgin River, but soon enough turns into a winding uphill climb. After climbing for about 20 minutes, the trail goes in a small creek and then keeps on zigzagging up until it gets to the scout's lookout point. This point has an excellent view of the Zion Canyon and is where the challenging part of the hike starts. If you feel that walking on narrow trails with 1000 foot cliffs on either side is too much for you, this is where you should turn back. At most parts of the trail there are chains to hold on to. Don't be as smart as and hold a camera in your hands. Make sure to have your two hands free for holding on to something. I had my GoPro set on my head strap so I could use my two hands. There are those parts where no chains are available. Make sure to take extra care and always to hold on to something. Finally, after a steep climb, we get to Angel's Landing. A scenic view of the whole canyon can be seen from the top. Now we have to get down, all the way back. One of the main risks with this trail is the amount of people on it. At times, long lines of hikers are hanging between heaven and earth. One wrong step in going around this guy or the other and you find yourself diving down the 1,000 foot walls. Would you do it again? Would you do it again? This is again. So you said it's mental and uh, as in you have to be mental? Yes, you have to be mental. Me. And that's you way up there talking about ah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah. See you out there. Yeah. Nothing, so be yeah. Just a minute. <laughs> he's got he's got one. He's got two. The water canyon is located outside of Zion National Park. On the navigation app set Water Canyon Trailhead. The trail starts where the Water Canyon Road ends. The hike is around 5 miles, is strenuous and requires rappelling down 8 holes. Make sure to have the required equipment. On our way, we stumbled upon this cute little guy. The climb is steep and at times dangerous, but is well worth the effort. While rappelling, you have to keep steady and align with the rope. The hardest part when rappelling is to let go of your legs and letting the rope support your body weight. After having that done for a few times, all that is left is the adrenaline rush. When hiking in slot canyons, always make sure to check the weather forecast for rain. And if ranges are around, consult with them regarding flash flood warnings. At certain parts of the trail, scrambling gets quite technical. This is the highest rappel, down a 100 feet fall and into the water. Make sure to dress up for water and have something dry to change by the end of the hike. Since it was only me and Jack, and Jack was always securing me, there was no one to take footage of me rappelling down. This is why you only see footage of Jack rappelling or footage taken from my head strapped GoPro. That's it, we are almost back where we have left the car, after climbing up and rubbling down all the way back.
The Narrows is located in Zion National Park. To get there, get off the shuttle at stop number 9, the Temple of Sinawava. The trail is closed when the water level is too high. It's usually open on July through August to the end of September. When I've been there on June, the trail was closed. I have taken that hike three months after on September. The trail starts on the Riverside Walk. This part of the trail is open all year round. The Narrows Trail starts when the Riverside Walk Trail ends. Make sure to consult with the local rangers regarding flash flood warnings. You should be ready to get wet, head to toe. The total length of this hike is 16 miles. If you do it bottom to top, you can turn back anytime you want. If, however, you decide to do it top to bottom, you can choose to camp on specific places along the trail. And more importantly, you would need to get a permit. The Orgelweil Canyon is a small stream that joins into the Narrows 1.5 miles from its bottom to top trail. We'll hike a mile or so in it and then return to the main stream. We're back on the Narrows. Walking in the stream can get challenging, especially when the waters are gushing and it is hard to see the rocks at the bottom. At certain parts of the trail, the water can get deep. Make sure to take all your belongings out of your pockets. Make sure to start walking early enough so there will be less people on the trail. 